I am Andrew Snyder. I am the fourth generation to be here at the Snyder Ranch at our current location. We are nestled against the Black Hills in between Sturgis and Rapid City, South Dakota. We have a ranching operation with myself, my middle brother Daniel, and my dad. We uh, predominantly are a cow-calf operation. We run mother cows on native range. We also uh, develop bred heifers. Along with that, we run some stalker cattle. On the cropping side, we grow alfalfa and grass hay. And then also from, on annual crops, we'll grow barley, oats, sorghums, millet, and everything is for forage for the cattle. We've started to get into the cover cropping side of things, putting a cover crop in following uh, harvesting barley or taking off uh, winter wheat. And we've also done a little experimenting with grazing standing corn for the first time this year. We do have a, a rotational grazing system in our forest unit. We will do a rotational grazing on our native pastures too. If you turn out in this pasture early, you don't turn out early in that pasture next year. Try to vary up your season of use and give those plants an opportunity to recover. So when you think about the whole no-till scenario, you first start with no-till and eliminating disturbance stopping your disking and your primary tillage. The next thing that people always think about in a no-till situation is cover crops. That's where we are working on right now is the cover crop side of it. When we'll grow barley or wheat for hay, we can come in behind that with a cover crop. And those cover crops in our environment will give us the opportunity to grow forage out of season grow something that we normally wouldn't have. Here in Western South Dakota, we have a drastically different moisture situation than East River, South Dakota. Anything you can run through the cow, graze it and leave the nutrients where they're at, create residue, and you're not transporting those bales, that hay, from the field back to your home place. All the different bugs of the soil that are taking that apart, they're disassembling a complex item that the cow put on the ground and they're taking that back into the soil for the benefit of everything else that's growing to make the whole cycle start again. In the multi-species cover crop that we have growing on one particular field, the idea with that is you cover your bases from your, your warm season grasses, your cool season grasses, your warm season broadleaves, brassicas. One thing that grows good one year may not grow so good in another year. Instead of rolling out a bale and feeding the cattle with, with stored forage, make them graze it. This whole thing started when I was, I was in college in, in Brickings at SDSU. I was invited to go to Dakota Lakes Research Farm and Dr. Dwayne Beck would, would talk about the different things that he was doing and the soil health. And he kept relating to, you gotta feed the livestock in the soil. That's something, as a rancher, I can relate to that. This makes sense. You're feeding the cows above the ground, you gotta feed the cows in the soil. 